There's that music. Welcome back to 3 News at 5. Nearly 7 million Americans are currently living with Alzheimer's. There's a good chance that you know someone or someone's family that is affected by it. It's a condition that can cause gradual decline in memory, thinking, behavior, and social skills. And for the family members and caregivers, it is a deeply personal and emotional diagnosis. Yeah, it's something performer Molly McFadden knows firsthand. Instead of dwelling on the challenges, though, she's turned her personal experience with the disease into something powerful. Here's our Lindsay Buckingham. It's in the quiet of her downtown Cleveland apartment where 72-year-old Molly McFadden finds her best ideas. It's sort of its own little sanctuary. I will start mapping out the framework. My career was a lot of theater, TV, films, soaps, commercials, and cabaret. I did it all. In New York with her husband, Brian, for 25 years, Molly found her happy place. By the 1990s, her career was taking off. Then one night, Molly's mom came to see her perform. After everybody left, she just continued standing there and applauding. It sent chills down my spine. I was like, that's not my mom. She was right. After returning to Tennessee, Molly's mom was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And my agent in New York said, don't stay down there. And I said, that's not going to happen. I have to spend time in this transition. She's bigger than life. Well, it's about time I got here. Hello! <laughs> Let's be clear, I'm the star, okay? While caring for her mom, Molly yearned for an outlet to process her feelings. Then I went, you know what? I'm gonna recreate that night that my mom came and the journey began. It just came to me. What came to her? was a play called Living on the Moon, featuring Memory, a puppet she modeled on her one-of-a-kind mom. When you're awake, the things you do come from the dreams you dream. Here at the Maltz Performing Arts Center, the duo takes the audience on a personal journey of Alzheimer's. So through humor, we relive some of the macabre journey we were on, and I'm able to finally say, it wasn't my fault, and I can let her go. I think it's important for us to share our journey. I was amazed at how it universally just spoke to people. Little did Molly know just how much it would end up speaking to her. Because I do research at Cleveland Clinic, just to help with the discovery of Alzheimer's, I found out I had the gene. They did tests and they said, you could be on the early side of Alzheimer's. I was devastated because I didn't want to end up like my mom. So she got to work, enrolling in Dr. Sandra Darling's brain health and wellness program through the Cleveland Clinic a few years ago. And I learned about the diet. I learned about no sugar. I learned so much. This is a lifestyle program designed to improve patients with mild to moderate memory loss. That's the one thing that I absolutely do for my patients is I let them know that, look, there is something that can be done. So my life got better. I got healthier. I felt better than I ever had. A resolve strengthened by the love for her mom. My mom once said, honey, you were born under a lucky star. And I said, I think I was, and uh, I miss her. <laughs> now, she'll continue this fight for mom, herself, and all other lives touched by memory loss. And I want other people to have hope because what I've experienced with Alzheimer's and people who go through it, they wait till it's too late, they succumb to it, and they don't have to. Lindsay Buckingham. Music unzips the universe, allowing me to come and see you. Three News. Wow, what an incredible story. Molly says she hopes her story will inspire others to never give up, and she plans to keep performing Living on the Moon for as long as she can. And I think it's, I haven't seen it, the portions that I have, and knowing the message of it, yeah. it's a beautiful idea and way to honor her mother and also to inspire and educate others. Yeah, I was going to say, you can imagine people who are sitting in that audience who are dealing with those emotions. Right. How much better they must feel afterwards. Sure. You know, one, they're not alone. Yeah. And two, that there is, there is 
some sort of hope and happiness in all of it, yeah. despite how hard it is. Incredible story. Yeah, it is. Incredible.